You guys, welcome back. Today I'll be making banh mi, a Vietnamese baguette that has a thin and crispy crust with a soft, airy texture inside. Towards the end of the video, I'll show you how to assemble a delicious banh mi sandwich. The process is a bit laborious and requires patience and self-restraint, but it's all worth it at the end. Let's get started. This is bread flour. I'm using this brand here. Aim for a flour with higher protein content to produce lots of gluten. I'm using a scale. Baking requires precise measurements to achieve consistent results. And go salt and sugar. Mix it all together. And goes instant yeast. And lukewarm water. The dough will be sticky, but don't add any more flour. As you knead it, it will smooth out a bit. Form it all into a ball and transfer it to a sturdy work surface. We'll knead this firmly and continuously for 10 minutes. Keep the momentum. Not only is this a good workout, it's a good activity to release a lot of stress. The dough is looking smoother already. Form it into a ball. Lightly oil a large bowl and place the dough in it. Cover and rest for 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, let's press out the air like this. Let's knead this firmly and continuously for another 10 minutes. After this second kneading workout, you'll be rewarded with as many banh mi sandwiches as you like. For a stretch test, Gently stretch the dough apart like this. If it tears, as you can see it happened here, it's not quite there yet. This test tells you if your dough has been kneaded properly. Lightly oil the large bowl again. Form the dough into a ball, cover and let it rest for 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, the dough has risen slightly. Push out the air like this. Another stretch test. Stretching out thinly, looking smoother and no tear. It's ready. Let's fold and press about 16 times. Shape into a ball.
oil the bowl and cover. Add a tray of hot water into the oven. The oven is off, but add the bowl of covered dough in there. The steam from the hot water will create a warm and humid place for the dough to rise nicely. Let it rest for one hour. After one hour, the dough has doubled in size. The amount of time for it to rise to the size may vary for you, depending on the temperature of where you live. The warmer it is, the faster it will rise. The cooler, the slower it will rise. Push the air out like this. It's so soft and fluffy now. Oil your working surface so the dough doesn't stick. Divide the dough into six equal pieces. While working on each piece, cover the rest with a damp cloth. Let's shape these pieces into baguettes. Slap it against the surface three to five times. Roll it and fold it over. Oil your rolling pin and roll the dough out thinly. You should hear popping noises from the air being pushed out. From the top, roll the dough downwards and pressing on the sides. The bottom part of the dough should be thin to produce a crispy crust. Smooth out the creases as best as you can. With two palms, roll the dough, applying pressure on the sides with your pinky to shape it into a baguette. Repeat the steps.
it gets easier the more you make. Press them on a parchment paper on a baking tray. Cover with another sheet of parchment paper. Allow it to rest in a warm place for one hour. Forty minutes in, preheat your oven to 475 degrees Fahrenheit. Keep the tray of hot water in there as we need it for creating humidity during the first half of the baking process. After an hour, the form doughs have risen nicely. Spray the doughs with water. This will make slashing smoother and easier. With the razor pointing at a downward angle, make a slash this deep on the top of each form dough. Spray the slashes with water. Add the tray to your already heated oven. Bake for a total of 20 to 23 minutes, depending on your oven. Ten minutes in, carefully remove the tray of hot water from the oven to allow the baguettes to continue browning. Rotate the tray of baguettes so that it can cook evenly. Spray the surface of the baguettes with water and close the oven door immediately and cook for the remainder of the time. Twenty-one minutes later, the baguettes are done. Homemade Vietnamese baguettes. It smells like a bakery in here. Vietnamese baguettes have a thin, crispy crust and the inside crumb is airy and soft. We'll need a cucumber.
and goes pate. Mayonnaise. Maggie seasoning sauce. A light seasoning sauce would also work. Your favorite meats. I'm adding Vietnamese ham. Cucumber from the garden. Homemade pickled daikon and carrots. I have a video on how to make this. Jalapeno and cilantro. And here you have it, a crispy, flavorful banh mi sandwich. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a like and share with your friends and family. I'll see you all in the next video. Be safe everyone.